Louis. Hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I am so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming. He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice. And you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. I have been following you, Uncle. And I shall remain with you. Thank you, Louis. But w what must I do? We must notify the family about what's happening here. Let me enter you. I shall empower you to do so. All right, do it quickly. There. Now you can communicate with the ether. When you return to reality, go to Elizabeth's room and call the ether. You will find an ally there. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of them since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything in such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? But... but what about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now. And I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. 
After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. The bastard. He planned to kill his own brother all along. I absolutely must stop him. Holm told me to go to Elizabeth's room. Then I'd find an ally there. I'd better go there straight away. What are you doing? Oh, Monsieur Volner asked me to prepare his belongings in anticipation of his imminent departure, sir. His departure? So quickly? Oh yes, he seemed to be in rather a hurry. Ah, very well. Would you know where I might bump into him one last time? Ah, if sir would like to say goodbye, sir will find him in his room. Thank you. Monsieur Johann von Volner. Johann! Louis, uh, I haven't the time. What are you doing? I'm getting out of here, what do you think? And going as far away as possible. Sir Gregory is dead. And in case you haven't grasped it yet, I am no longer safe here. If you value your life, you had better do the same. Hey, hey, hey wait no, a second. No, no, I haven't time. Good luck in the future. So I have to link into the ether. What does that mean? Right. Let's start by trying to clear my mind. I have to get rid of any ideas that might distract me. Right. Think about home. Come on, Louis, concentrate. Nothing's happening. That can't be right. Come on, Louis. You've already been there. I'll concentrate. Remember what you felt. Oh, there it is. I, I sense something. It's getting closer. Who goes there? Elizabeth? But I saw you. You're dead. You're not Elizabeth. Who are you? My name is Louis de Richet. Who are you? You dare call me Thing? I warn you. Audacity such as that could cost you dearly. But uh, am I imagining things or, or did he hear my thoughts? I thought Elizabeth was dead. And she is. I am not Elizabeth Adams, but her fate matters not. Mm, indeed. I sense a difference somewhere. An upheaval in the equilibrium of the ether. Something unnatural has happened. William has killed Gregory with his own blood. How dare he? What an abomination. He's become dangerous. He must be stopped by any possible means. Yes, but there's nothing you can do on your own. 
Gregory told me to come here. Let me take care of him. I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Very well. I accept. Good. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. Oh, ah, ah, my head oh, it hurts like hell. Oh, I hope I've made the right choice. There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd like to know? First, know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? Look! I'm not the one responsible for this chaos. I decided to follow your son, Gregory. I wonder what your word is worth. Especially after seeing the ease with which, when your sister came to your room on the night of the first session, you changed sides. But it was in favor of your son, Gregory. Hmm, that is true. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? Ever since I got here, I haven't stopped giving him advice to protect him from father's plans. Not once did no, I- Ah, you are trying to manipulate me. Stop this at once. Do not take me for a fool. So then, what did you do to thwart William? I did everything in my power to help my sisters get through all of this. Despite the discord that William sowed between all of us. Despite my anger. It cannot have been easy. I congratulate you for putting the family before your own interests. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? Give him one more chance. I'm sure there's still some good left in him. But he killed Gregory. I know, I know. But killing William won't bring him back. You don't understand. There are rules. I know what he wants to hear. According to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I congratulate you, Louis. You have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go. Now, it's time to get this over and done with. William! Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. 
By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely. And as you see, they Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your <sighs> knees. Ah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You were wise to follow my son Gregory. You made the right choice. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming. Von Volmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States, on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire to the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. They say that the Duchess inspired her novel Emma, which became a bestseller in the year 1816. His Eminence Piaggi, Having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the Cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic commitments. 
Fascinated by the techniques of exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. Sardre Chet was never the same after the death of her son, Louis. She threw herself wholeheartedly into the development of the Golden Order. Although some qualified her theories as fanciful, she remained a leading figure of feminism of the 18th century. On his return to Paris, Peyrou resigned from his posting as judge at the Revolutionary Courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months.